Hello everybody, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video we are going to clarify a very very important question. So most of us know that Canada has got a huge backlog of applications and of course because of that the processing times are very high and because of that there has been a conversation that got started somewhere and which has become a buzz in social media as well that is there a possibility that Canada can cancel the existing applications. So of course, when this possibility is even being discussed, it becomes a big reason to worry for all those people who have been waiting for their applications to get processed, who have been waiting eagerly for 6 months, 8 months, 1 year and more than that. So today, once and for all, I want to clarify this question and we're going to get the right answers. So we are reaching out to the right person. So I'm going to take this question to Mr. Kuber Kamal who is a licensed ICCRC consultant and of course a popular name when we talk about express entry or Canadian immigration. So welcome once again sir, welcome to Dream Abroad. Thank you, thank you, my pleasure, my pleasure being here. So the big question that is or the big buzz that is there you know in the social media or you know people talking about it right now, is there a chance that Canada can cancel the existing applications because of the huge, huge, huge backlog that they have. First of all, I want to ask you the source of this information, where did this actually started? Because, you know, uh, I hope that our audience would have a better idea about that and then we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the chances. Just a couple of days back, I did a live stream with a good friend, uh, Stephen Murrens, who is also a Canadian immigration lawyer based in Vancouver. And when I asked him the same question, uh, he basically said that yes, Canada can cancel uh, existing in-process immigration applications and that there is a precedence. It happened in 2012, Jason Kenney was the immigration minister and he, or rather Canada did cancel all pending applications that were filed before 2008. So that were almost 300,000 applications that were cancelled. And then again, 2014, they cancelled the business migration or investor entrepreneur immigration applications. So there is precedence that it has happened. And so this was basically the source from where it, you know, it spread out. But this has been in the mind of a lot of people earlier. Also, a lot of speculation, a lot of talks have been happening that can Canada cancel immigration applications? Of course, yes. Uh, it's it's their prerogative they are within their rights but it is not easy to cancel immigration applications so this is this is my opinion uh, one that the number of applications that are now there in the pipeline in the backlog are not too many okay uh, as per the internal memo which is also the talk of the town now shared which was uh, issued on the 24th of november only 76000 people are in the inventory and when i'm saying 76000 people i'm talking about fhs which is Federal high skilled categories, which is CECs, Canadian Experience Class, Federal Skilled Workers, FSTC. So, combination of all this, there are only 76,000 people in the pipeline. Uh, and this is again November. So, by now, another two months, you would have probably cleared off another 15,000 people. That is the processing capacity. So, you have approximately 50, 60,000 people in the backlog. It doesn't make sense to cancel these applications because the number is too small. Again, uh, in the recent past, you haven't seen anything which would indicate that they want to cancel the applica applications. Now, when it happened in 2012 and 2014, both the times it happened with the Act of Parliament. It was not that IRCC by itself went ahead and cancelled the applications. They can't do that. So it had to happen by the Act of Parliament. It was the majority government, Conservatives. Uh, the chances of that happening again now are unlikely because one, we have the Liberals, number one, uh, who are pro-immigration, who are pro-getting the people in, so not happening, number one. Number two, again, it's not it's a minority government, right? So they do not they, they do not have the absolute power in the parliament. Again, so with, with that, with those factors, I absolutely do not think there is any likelihood of applications being terminated at this point of time. Uh, as far as the backlogs are concerned, as far as the timelines are concerned, or the processing is concerned, nothing has actually stopped or come to a ground halt. Right? So it's still things are moving, chain is moving, the wheels are moving. So a lot of people are receiving passport requests. A lot of people have been receiving medical requests or re-medical requests. They have been receiving uh, additional document requests or uh, your police clearance requests. And in that internal memo, which is, as I said, the talk of the town, nothing has been indicated that they want to stop the process they want to halt the process or they do not want to sort of you know process any applications 
on the contrary what was indicated was that the processing times may increase or they might go up all right but absolutely no talk about applications being terminated or cancelled so let's keep that out completely let's kick that out it's not happening at least at least i don't think so and i do not see that any likelihood applications being cancelled not happening i'm sure that people uh, you know who are waiting since so long um, probably in year more than that they'll be quite 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 happy and probably more relaxed to hear uh, that obviously the waiting times are off the charts but thankfully if it like if there's no point of uh, cancellation i'm sure that people will be very happy also i think uh, express entry started somewhere in 2015 Um, yeah. I think we started 2015. So all of this story, uh, like a couple of times when it has happened before, I think it was before uh, Express Entry actually started. Yeah. And then yeah. back then, I think before Express Entry started, the processing times used to be like three years, four years, five years. So I think yeah. that might be one of the reasons that uh, you know that might have happened back then. At that point of time, the processing times had really gone up. They were almost yeah. six, eight years. I mean, okay. The reason because the backlogs had gone to almost eight years. Mm -hmm. and that's the reason they had to sort of you know take that extreme drastic step in the internal memo again that was shared on the 24th of or that was issued on the 24th of november but shared only yesterday it all indicates that the processing times currently for federal skilled worker are at 20.3 months okay and the chances are that it may increase may increase to 36 months which is 3 years that is already freaking people out that oh hello i mean 2 years and now it's going to go to 3 years and lot of people are then asking questions does it apply to the new applicants but where are the new applicants the draws did not happen since 14th of september and that was for cecs uh, federal skill worker draws haven't happened since 2020 so there are no new applicants so processing times apply to the old in process applications and they are saying that there is a possibility that the current applications are taking about 20 months and they may go up to 36 months now mind you this was 24th of november when this memo was sent to the immigration minister deputy immigration minister for their approval after that the government has come out and announced 85 million dollars budget as a one time fiscal uh, infusion to specifically take care of the backlogs it's only meant for the backlogs and the next day after that was the mandate letter that justin trudeau issued to the immigration minister sean fraser and talking specifically about the backlogs and they said that is going to be one of his big priorities to make sure that the application processing times are restored back to the pre pandemic levels so that's a big task and i'm not sure how many of how many people actually heard sean fraser's interview this morning it was broadcast on red fm i think one one of these uh, uh, fm channels he was there for a short time i think 15 minutes or something and in that again he pros- he basically stressed upon the same thing that they are working on backlogs now when when people talk about backlogs backlogs are not only on the express entry applications they are throughout they are on citizenship applications they are on uh, spousal sponsorship applications and a big portion of this 1.8 million backlog that we have all been hearing about the majority of them are temporary residents so your visit visa spouse open work permit applications super visas study permits those are the ones which have really really been pushed back and and nobody is talking about them right now the whole priority is on the on the pr applications so while there is definitely this possibility of the processing times going up i mean we are seeing that but my expectation is that as we will move forward and with only 50 60000 applications in hand and the processing capacity that IRCC has already shown by way of data is roughly 15000 people they are processing each each month so with 15000 processing each month you would expect that a lot or rather a large chunk of the applications is definitely cleared within the first 6 months of this year so yes. um, i really hope that you know things get better in the next few months and uh, you know all those people who have been dreaming about coming to canada making canada as their home uh, their dreams come true and yeah, yes absolutely. we'll keep trying uh, just like we we've been doing for a couple of years now so we'll yeah. keep trying helping everyone thanks a lot for joining this uh, for this yeah. video today thank, thank you thank you for giving me the opportunity to clear some of these issues which are plaguing out there i'm sure that people like all those people will be very relaxed after after hearing this I'm, thanks I, 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 hope I hope they do i hope they do